anybody who's a true horror fan has got to have some kind of Phantasm poster in their collection. Come on, guys, you've got to have one. Um, I've always enjoyed the Phantasm 2 poster here. I got this one a while back. It's an original one sheet. It's been folded. It's not a rolled version. Um, it, I did check it out real close. It is an original. It's not one of these uh, reprints. I, I did check the Phantasm website upon watching the Dead Pit Boys video. I kind of steered away from getting that one because of their, their recommendation. Um, or, or I was going to try and get an original uh, autographed one for the uh, Phantasm 1 original movie. But Phantasm 2, I've had this one for a while. Um, it's, it's in pretty good shape. I, it doesn't have any pinholes on it or anything like that. But I've always really liked the art. And uh, there's a good story behind this movie. I actually saw Phantasm 2 at a drive-in movie theater, one of the last drive-in movie theaters that ever existed in North Carolina before they started knocking them all down, um, down in Hickory, North Carolina. It's not there anymore. In fact, the summer, I watched it the night before school started in eighth grade that summer. Uh, it was the last time it was being played, at the, and that was the only theater in town was the drive-in movie theater that had it. And uh, my mother took time to drive me down there, and I had to watch a double feature. I had to sit through Midnight Run with Robert De Niro and Charles Grodin to get to watch Phantasm 2 because I was such a fan of the, the original one. Um, I had to see this one on the big screen. My mother, God bless her, she took the time to drive me down to this this uh, drive-in movie theater. We sat out till like 10 o'clock that night just to get to see this movie. And uh, there again, just a cherished memory I have. I'll tell you more about it in a review one day or something of that nature. There again, Phantasm 2, one of my favorite horror movies and one of my favorite horror posters. If you can pick one of these up, I think you can still find one of these relatively cheap. So my recommendation, get it while they're, while they're going. Because, like I say, these one sheets, they put them out one time. Everything after that is usually a reprint. Okay, folks, uh, here's my Friday the 13th poster. Um, sad to admit, folks, don't get your hopes up. This is not an original one sheet. This is the only reproduction, reproduction poster I have in my horror collection of uh, movie posters so far. I really went ahead and just got a reprint in the size of an original one sheet. And it looks like they did a pretty good rep reproduction job. You can tell it if you're up here real close to it that it doesn't have, it's a painted, it's a painted print, but it does look like it ran off a printer. The, the colors don't jump out at you as good. And, uh, but I got it for nostalgia purposes, mainly because I absolutely love the, the art of the first Friday the 13th poster the best. Mainly because you got this silhouette, the knife there, of course, dripping the blood. But you've also got this uh, this little uh, forest scape and the, the victims there in the middle of the poster, a little spooky moon up there at the top, the tagline. I've just always I've, I've always uh, kept that image in my head from my childhood and uh, love of horror movies and everything. So uh, there again, just wanted to pop that one in there real quick, mainly because I just like Friday Thirteenth films and uh, maybe one day I'll get a one sheet, but they're real expensive right now for my budget. I think the cheapest one I could find for an original Friday 13th uh, one sheet was probably around 120, 140 bucks, somewhere around, somewhere around there. And I'm, I'm kind of a cheaper guy than that, so maybe I'll get lucky on an auction one night. But there's my, my repro. Now this is the poster you guys are probably going to laugh right off of this video and probably not watch the rest of it. But I assure you, there's more, there's better goodness to come. Um, this is a, a cheaper one I got with Shocker. I bought Shocker and this one real cheap off the website, I believe it was. And I got them for, oh, it was, a, it was an eBay auction. I got this one again, I think, for two bucks. It's a John Carpenter movie from the early 90s that I think is highly underrated. Oddly enough, this is one I don't have in my collection for the sheer fact that it's uh, basically out of print. I don't know if there's any current version of it on DVD or even Blu-ray, to even speak of Blu-ray. But it's a, uh, it's a movie that starred Chevy Chase, Daryl Hannah, and it kind of took the story of the Invisible Man and kind of turned it, it gave it its, uh, John Carpenter gave it his own spin on it. Um, you had government agents chasing them, and it, it's a painted poster, and I've always liked this image because his, fa his face is fading away and everything, and I don't know. This movie had, of course, some science fiction, some comedy, uh, action, um, you know, I think that's what really helped it, and it also hurt this movie. It, did, it didn't do real well because it didn't really stick to any one particular genre. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, if I am, let me drop me a comment. This is the only movie poster that you'll ever see where John Carpenter took off his name at the top, where it usually says, John Carpenter's Memoirs of an Invisible Man. 
or John Carpenter's Christine, you know, like he always does. This one does not have it anywhere up here. His, he's credited down here at the bottom. But I think because of that, I read somewhere where John Carpenter, this is the only movie that he done that, where he took his name off of it. I don't know why he did, because this movie's not really that bad. I mean, it's, I've seen some really bad, just crap, you know, before on movies, but uh, or in movies. This one's really not that bad. It was in good shape, and I bought it with Shocker, because it was real cheap. Anyway, there's Memoirs of an Invisible Man. Holy Lordy! Hey guys, um, basically I'm getting down to the two framed posters that I have in my uh, man cave or bunker, as I like to call it, uh, movie room, wherever I, I I hide and consume many movies into my receptors. Um, basically, one of my favorite all-time action movies, of course starring Chuck Norris, is uh, Missing in Action, the original Missing in Action from 1984. This right here is an original one-sheet poster from uh, 1984. Uh, it's got the big Chuck Norris name up there, the tagline, The War's Not Over Until the Last Man Comes Home. It's a folded uh, It's a folded one, so you got some uh, fold lines. You might see a little bit of a glare there because it's in a, uh, a poster frame. It's got a plastic uh, sheath over it. But I always like the, uh, the art of this one because it really sums up the movie because, you know, you got the, the big M60 machine gun there and uh, the guys on the helicopter, and uh, this movie's great too. It's uh, it's directed by Joseph Zito. You'll notice his uh, directions. Um, he's a he's a he's a very good director. He can direct uh, action, horror. Um, he's directed The Prowler, uh, good slasher flick from the early '80s. He's also directed Friday the Thirteenth Part Four, the final chapter, um, Red Scorpion. He's directed a lot of films. Um, very sound director. Good good style. Um, always like this poster. Of course, because I'm a Chuck Norris fan, but uh, I'm just happy to have it in my collection, and I had to put it on the wall because it's one of my favorite movies, too, in the action genre. Okay, fellers, I saved the best one for last, um, or at least in my opinion, my favorite, anyway. Um, this is an original one-sheet for the Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D. You'll notice the tagline, uh, A New Dimension in Terror, um, Friday the 13th, and it's got the little blood dripping off the blade coming through the shower scene there. Um, it's a folded copy, but still, I think even the folded ones um, are getting a little bit harder to find for Part 3. Uh, I think Creepy K had said in, in their videos, anything Friday 13th, you know, you definitely want to get your hands on. I totally agree with him, um, because it's going to become more collectible as time goes on. They do remakes and things like that. Um, this one is probably pound for pound my favorite horror movie ever, the one I never get tired of, the one I, I can just watch any day of the week, any time of the year. Um, it's the most fun Friday 13th uh, movie for me. Not not really because it's in 3D. That's a that's an added bonus. But it's one that I, I remember seeing a lot as a kid. Whenever you go to the uh, the video store, I always like the art um, of the poster as well. And of course, you know it's the first one where Jason gets his hockey mask. You know it's got a little bit of everything in it. You got the cool bikers in it, and I don't know. It's just the you know the one I watch the most. Um, a lot of people have their their own particular. Uh, favorite horror movie, and this has got to be the one for me. There again, I'll get out of the way here unless you have a good look at it. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, there again, it's an original one sheet. I think these probably go, if you buy them outright on some movieposters.com and places like that, this one will go for anywhere from about, I don't know, about 40 to 80 bucks, depending on the condition of it, if it's folded or rolled, that kind of thing. Um, guys, I got real lucky on an eBay auction about two years ago, and I got this one for, it was a late night, last minute auction. I ended up getting this poster for about, uh, I think $12.50, that was shipping and all. So, I don't know if it was really worth that much back then, but I think, well, actually it was about a year ago. I gave about twelve fifty for it, so I didn't think that was too bad, and it's just going to go up in value. So, if you have any of these great Fire 13th original one sheets, I highly recommend you put them in a frame. But uh, anyway, that's my collection for right now, guys, and uh, just want to let you guys know I've really enjoyed doing this video, and as time goes on, if I collect any more movie posters, I'll try to do a movie poster update later on down the road. This is B. West Jr. again from Endurance Productions, dedicating this video to the boys at deadpit.com, and a quick video response to Raiho Magnifico's movie poster collection. Take care, guys, and we'll see you around the block.